everybody I am back today to show you the new diaper bag that I have been using this is called the Gita I believe and this was sent to me to try out by their company and they are a socially responsible company here's their information on Etsy and I will also link this bag on Amazon down below, so make sure you check that out. This is the name of the company, Gita, G-I-T-T-A, bags. And this is what the diaper bag looks like. I bought it in gray. You can wear it over the shoulder, or there are options for backpack straps as well, which I really love. Definitely nice to have with a three and a half almost four year old running around um so we don't pack a ton of you know diapers and food and things anymore um but we do and i really don't use this change pad anymore of course um but we do have you know our potty training necessities and all of those things so i want to tell you what's in the bag and then i will show it to you so it has a main compartment with a really big opening and that's totally awesome inner pockets that you can put another person I have done that a couple times padded adjustable back straps you could also take the back straps off which I will show you clip for your keys there are two shoulder straps two spots for bottles internal diaper compartments a hidden changing compartment for fast convenient diaper changing a detachable padded lightweight liquid repellent changing mat and it's totally washable a side cell phone compartment, a zippered mesh laundry bag, um, which I do have in here. Um, it hangs on pretty much any stroller. You also get um, these stroller clips, which can totally be used on a shopping cart as well. And they are not real leather, I don't think, but a leatherette. So you hook them over and around and then they will go on the clips of the bag which I will show you here in a second. So I've been using this bag for about a month. Um, what I really love the most is two things. Um, you can use it as a backpack, but it's still got you know normal shoulder straps. It's also really light. So for someone like me who's an overpacker, um, it's great that I can easily um, pack it and it not get too heavy. So it does have these clips on each side which I have a little Blackhawks guy and a Mickey Mouse on that side and I have my hand sanitizer on this side but these are also your clips to attach to the stroller clips if you use those um, and then I'll show you this pocket but these are the same on both sides on the sides it has a elasticized pocket this doesn't keep things warm or cold at all um, but it does have two pockets here so you've got one for the bottles, or in my case, water bottles, and then one to throw, you could throw your keys down in here or your cell phone, which is really nice. Then on the back side of the bag, you've got your backpack straps, and these attach um, with these rings at the bottom, and the rings can, there is a chrome drain type thing here, and you can put the rings up inside and put the back strap, backpack straps into the back pocket here if you're not going to use them. But I kind of switch back and forth depending on what we're doing. And there's this huge pocket back here. So like coloring books and um, flat type of things like that. If we go to the library and just get a few things, I could throw those in this bag, this back pocket here. And it goes the full length and width of the back of the bag. And then on the bottom is the little zipper where your change pad is hiding it's up in here okay and that's a separate compartment it velcros right in just like that but that's a separate compartment from this back pocket so you're not taking up space if you choose to leave the change pad inside and that's really easy to do and you can see because this bag is unstructured it tends to flop over but it's kind of nice because you could shove it in small spaces and take it anywhere you need to. So on top here then, inside, kind of try and give you a full view here. In the back, you've got two large elasticized pockets. They're pretty deep. 
I have some pull-ups in this pocket and some Kleenex and some boogie wipes. In this pocket I have our um, forks and spoons that we use at restaurants sometimes if the ones they have are too big. Um, a bib, sometimes he still makes a mess, like an olive garden in that, and our little med kit. And then you also have two interior bottle pockets. In this one, can you see who's in there? These are our <laughs> mini Thomas trains. We keep those in there. Um, I, I would say I don't think you could carry four bottles, you know, two on the outside and two on the inside. But, you know, if you like yours inside, put them inside. If you like them on the outside, put them outside. And then on the right side here, I have a pair of socks for myself and a pair of socks for my son. Um, so when we go to those play places that require socks, especially in the summer when we're not usually wearing them, I have them with us. On the front side of the bag, then, you have a key clip here and then another key ring here. So you could either clip them on or you could clip anything on, really. Um, and then this one, let's see if I can do it. This one is actually detachable, so if you wanted to um, put this key ring, there we go, on your keys and then just hook it up every time um, when you're not using them, you could do that. It is a regular split key ring there. Um, and then on the other side of the bag here, you have a large zipper pocket, which goes about three quarters of the way across the bag. This is the mesh laundry bag that they include, which is nice. Um, I'm not using it for anything in particular right now, but if I had like maybe wet suits with me or um, something else that I just needed to contain until I got home, I could do that. Um, I have a sippy cup leash in here, and then I have the stuff that I don't really want to be easy for him to get. So my son's sunglasses, some rash cream, some lotion. What else do I have? Um, this is a topper for a water bottle, so it's easier for him to sip out of a regular water bottle. I'll link those down below, those are from Amazon as well. And um, just one of those little shopping hooks. So if I have the stroller, I can use this for extra shopping bags, especially like at the, um, at the market or things like that. And then inside of the bag, just so you can see how much this fits, and it's really not even full, and there's a whole bunch of space on top. I could still put a whole another layer of stuff on top here. I have, my Vera Bradley wristlet, which I use as a wallet right now, a um, full Jujube Quick with, this is our restaurant quick, so it's got um, snacks and, um, you know, extra things he needs to eat, um, as well as some stuff to play with at a restaurant. I've got a Vera Bradley um, card case in there. I've got a Kipling pouch, one of those three section pouches. This has all of our my mommy needs in it. Um, I've got a new play pack, Blaze. We're totally into Blaze right now. And I've got my information from the UPS store from today. And I've got a Huggies, um, one of these Huggies, I can't remember what these are called. Um, but I did a video review of these. These are the ones that you can put the... Um, wipes in and refill it and I haven't had any issues with that I'm still using the same ones and then I have a notebook that I keep my daily to do's on and that's the inside of the bag there it has this cute little ghost print that is the Gita logo um, but I am really loving this bag they do have some different styles as well so again I will link this bag down below I hope you will check it out um, it holds a ton of stuff and is super lightweight and can totally easily be thrown in the wash. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below and I will see you guys real soon.